Welcome to cabin 7402 on the Carnival of Venetia. I'm probably saying that wrong. And here is our cabin tour of this balcony cabin. So let's take a look. Starting off as we always do with the door, we have the evacuation information. And that's one of the places where you can find out your muster station. In this case, we are D4. And you've got a locking mechanism here. You have the eye hole that enables you to see who comes a knocking. There doesn't appear to be a cover for it, so that's gonna let in a little bit of light when you're trying to sleep. So that's something to be aware of. Here's the card slot, which uh, you would use to power the lights. You need to insert something there, but it doesn't necessarily need to be your sale and sign card. It can also be just a folded up piece of paper, a business card, whatever works for you. I'll just put mine in. And that activated the lights. And there's a light switch underneath. And just in from the door, there are three coat hangers. So this was formerly a Costa ship. So uh, that's why you're gonna notice that the decor and the style is a little bit different from what you're used to on Carnival. It's kind of a little nicer, but also more of a classic look, a little less modern. So let's check out the bathroom. Got three things on the back of the door there. The door itself has a locking mechanism. And as you can see, again, the decor is still a little different from regular Carnival vessels. Look at this shower door. That is kind of different there. And that is a hole, so water can come through there, something to keep in mind. Um, but this is kind of nice, I like it. It's a lot better than that curtain. Sometimes when that curtain gets wet, and depending on like wind and air pressure or whatever, it might like kind of swing in and get stuck to you and it feels all like cold and slimy or whatever. So I think I, I prefer this. I'll know more once I try it, but I am excited and enthused. And so we've got a line here that you can pull out and attach over there. So the idea being you hook this in there and then uh, you can feed the line through like a leg of your swim shorts or bathing suit or whatever. You can just hang stuff over the line and kind of drip dry into the shower stall. So that's good for after hitting, you know, the pool, the water slides uh, or a port day. And so we got a nice grab bar there. That's really secure. Precaution against scalding. Test the water temperature before entering. Always good advice. Let's take a look here. So I don't know exactly what things they completely replaced and changed, but this, it doesn't look completely brand new. It looks completely clean. So it could be new. It might just have a different kind of sort of coloring to it. A little tiny indentation there makes me think it's not totally new, but it is perfectly clean. Shower gel and shampoo. I guess that's just the one button to release it. So I guess it's a combo mix, so you can clean your whole body with just that. A little different from what you're probably used to on a carnival ship. But this probably looks all too familiar. A little rack here for you to put your soap and your own shampoo, conditioner, body wash, whatever you brought. And here are the controls. So stop and on, and then that's your temperature control there. There's the drain. Kindly consider a towel on the rack. I'll use it again. Towel on the floor, please exchange. They missed a real opportunity there to have that rhyme. <laughs> It's like, uh, I don't know, towel on the floor, please send more. <laughs> Would have been good. That could have worked. Anyways, a better environment starts with all of us. Leave towels on the rack if you can use them again. Place them on the floor if you need a refresher. Most carnival guests reuse their towels, helping to save the environment. I'm all for helping to save the environment, but also from a marketing standpoint, find it interesting that they have this bullet point. Most carnival guests reuse their towels. So it's like, be one of us. Be one of the cool kids. It's like they're trying to use peer pressure to get you to protect the environment and maybe save them on some, you know, labor and other costs. So, uh, you know, okay, it's a little transparent, but fair enough. It's for a good cause. Be thoughtful of your water consumption and turn off the faucets when not in use. Remember to turn off the lights when leaving your stateroom. Thank you for helping us make the world a better place. Do not throw bulky items into toilet. So this is the toilet here, and that's the flush there. And there's just a look inside the toilet, in case you're kind of curious. Generally speaking, that will sound like a airplane toilet when you flush it. So it'll sound like it's going to suck the whole room out that tiny little hole, but don't worry, it won't. There's a drain, a plunger that hopefully you'll never have to use, or actually I think that might be a brush. Doesn't really look like a, yeah, it's a brush, not a plunger. So again, hopefully that's something you'll never need. The cabin stewards will probably use that. Oh, look at this. 
Nicer toilet paper than usual, Carnival. Brand name and everything. Kind of quilted double ply, I think. Nice touch, unexpected benefit. And there are some standard towels there. Face cloths, hand towels, and full body towels. And we have a mirror here that has two sides. One is just a regular zoom, and then the other one is the extreme close-up. Funhouse mirror. <laughs> Not sure if I got that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I got those dimensions correct. Okay, so we've got some shelves here. look a little different from what you're used to on a Carnival vessel. And we do have a plug here that's just for shavers, as I understand it. So when you're cruising, we strongly recommend bringing a Trond power cube because watch in the rest of the video we'll see how many power outlets there are there are quite a few a lot of ships have fewer than there are on this ship and even still i find it's good to have just in case you don't want to be fighting over a power outlet with someone you're traveling with that's not good and there's the sink there and a gold bit there and there's your standard soap a couple of glasses a couple more towels which is nice i appreciate that and then below the sink sanitary disposal and it looks like a, yeah, that's some facial tissue and more toilet paper. Sam, we got fancy toilet paper, two ply, Scott, brand name, everything. It's amazing. That's what you paid for. <laughs> What's that? That's what you paid for. Oh, did you pay extra for that? <laughs> 25 cruises later. Oh yeah, happy milestone, by yeah. the way. <laughs> This is, uh, this is the inaugural sailing of this uh, ship under Carnival brand, so that's kind of exciting. It's new to us. There's the uh, AC control. We'll see how good that works. There's your do not disturb sign. Lighting controls for the room. Uh, the bathroom is the what those lighting controls are for. And there's a switch under here for this light. And there's the blue towels, which is good to take with you on excursions. Just bring them back, otherwise you will get charged for them. But they'll refresh those for you if they're dirty. And there's the couch. Pretty sure that would be a pull-out couch if you needed an additional person. We do not, thankfully. And we've got our little coffee table there. And Sam's playing with the phone. <laughs> it, has, it has your full name on it. I'm going to have to blur that out. <laughs> it's got the room number. and Okay, that's cool. There's a QR code for the room service menu. A pencil because the pens have long since gone away with Carnival. And that makes us sad. We love those pens. And a little piece of paper. You used to get a bigger piece of paper, but that's just the way of things. There is sort of the European plug there. Uh, and then you've got two three-prong outlets two USB, and then you've got another sort of a different European style there. Uh, so that is, that is quite a bit of power. I still like to bring my Tron power cube anyways, just in case. There's the remote. For once we've got a slightly different looking remote on a Carnival Cruise, but the only thing that's different is the color. They're normally white and blue. This is just all black. And so you've got a couple of things of water here and a couple of glasses. Watch out whether you're a red VIFP member or above and you're entitled to free water, this isn't it. This costs money. Don't drink this unless you want to pay for 25 per bottle, which is astronomical. You want to get your free water at a bar. That's the fridge there. Sam's just demoing for us there. Although, you know, there is some debate as to whether it's a fridge or not. If you need to store something like insulin or medication that needs to be cooled to a certain degree, talk to your cabin steward. Don't trust that the fridge is going to get the job done. One piece of advice we've heard is that if you prop open the cabin door a uh, little bit, the cabinet door, uh, sometimes you can get better cooling effect on that fridge. We haven't really tested it. We can't guarantee it, but that's something we hear in our Carnival VIFP club members group, which you can join at facebook.com slash groups slash Carnival VIFP club. And we'll have a link in the description for that. Over 300,000 people in that group. So there's a little stool there, which you can pull out and use with the desk, which is nice, and a little waste basket. And in this drawer here, we have the often asked about hair dryer. So we have a hair dryer in our room that is normal. You'll always have a hair dryer in your room. You do not need to bring your own hair dryer. In fact, you can't because anything with a heating coil is problematic on a cruise ship. You do not want to start a fire and they don't want you to start one. We've got some additional information here, some good to know, and a collection of QR codes. Um, but you can also just follow the link underneath. They've got short links there. It all basically takes you to different parts of the free Carnival website, which you can access on Carnival Wi-Fi when you're on board the ship. Waste basket. And over here we have the mat that you can put your luggage on. We actually just got a question in our Facebook group the other day about this. What is this mat for? This is to put your luggage on so you don't get all the schmutz from your luggage on your bed. So usually on the first turn down service you will have that uh, rolled up by the cabin steward and they'll place it under the bed. And pro tip, you can also put your empty luggage under the bed to maximize your space. Over here we got a couple fancy pillows. 
that's not usual for a carnival cruise. And we've got a bedside lamp for each bed and also a main light control there. So you can turn off the cabin lights from your bedside. And Sam has the, gets the benefit of two additional USB plugs, which I don't get, unfortunately, but that is okay. I've got all the plugs over there that I can make use of. And of course, the luggage, the Sam, and the hat is not included in your cruise rate, so don't expect those things to be there. Let's take a look at the balcony. It's got uh, some nice curtains here with this kind of cord holding them back, which I don't think I could unravel that if I wanted to. I think I'm just going to like pull it out when I need to close the curtains. Maybe let the cabin steward do that at turndown service. Okay, let's check out outside. Wait, first there's a sign. Air conditioning, for your comfort, please keep the balcony door closed to maintain room temperature. And look, a diagram on how to open a door, in case you've never done that before. Caution, watch your step high threshold, that is true. And so that's our little cabin tour of this regular balcony cabin here on deck seven of the brand new Carnival Venezia. The ship itself is not new, but it was recently in dry dock for its Carnival conversion. So thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful at all, please give it a like, a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Helps other people find the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We've got all sorts of tips, whether you're cruising, road tripping, taking a traditional vacation, or even a train. We've got tips that'll help you do it a little smarter, a little bit easier, and a little bit more cheaply, so you can go a bit more often. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.